For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson. Meek Mill's chances of getting out of prison before his two to four year sentence has run its course is looking better and better each day that passes by. Rumors have been floating around that the officer who initially arrested Meek back in 2007 is corrupt. Meek, by the way, is in jail due to a supposed parole violation that stems from a decade-old arrest. The Philadelphia District Attorney's Office released a previously secret do not call list that contained the names of police officers who have been accused of misconduct and shouldn't be called to testify in court due to their questionable behavior. The reasons as to why these officers are on the list range from accusations of lying to soliciting sex workers to assault to racial bias. Meek's arresting officer, whose name is Reginald Graham, is on that list for several alleged acts of corruption. Meek Mill's attorney provided a statement to Complex where he explains the latest developments and hopes that and Meek will be freed. The release of the so-called Do Not Testify list, which includes Mill's arresting officer Reginald Graham, supports everything in the motions filed by Mill and others wrongfully arrested by Officer Graham for post-conviction relief. We are hopeful that this is the final step in the process to get Mill and other defendants released on bail and to have their convictions overturned. Officer Reginald Graham was the sole witness in Meek's 2008 trial, and with these allegations of corruption, Graham's credibility is quickly shrinking, putting in question Meek's original case and subsequently the most current one. Gerald Gibson, a Philadelphia police officer, gave a sworn affidavit saying that the arresting officer said about Meek pulling a gun on him, as well as other events he recounted in his testimony were false. The recently elected district attorney of Philadelphia, whose name is Larry Krasner, has been pushing for reforms. Criminal marijuana possession charges will no longer be pursued and lawsuits against pharmaceutical companies involved in the city's opioid crisis is underway. 31 prosecutors have also been fired after Krasner's tenure began. Krasner campaigned on the platform of not seeking a death penalty, reducing the number of folks that are thrown in jail, and ending the use of cash bail. For now, let's see if Meek's legal team can translate the release of this do not call list into a reversal of his violation. For the latest on this story and others, be sure to keep it locked to Complex News by subscribing to us on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson.